Hey guys, hey everyone, how are y'all doing out there? It's your girl Twin D. Thank you so so much for stopping by the channel. Thank you so much for being here and thank you if you're a member of the camp. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your support and thank you for being a member of this camp. So hit that subscription button guys and just join this camp. This is where you need to be if you want to learn about your twin flame journey and what's going on and how to improve on your journey to align yourself for union so let's jump in let's jump right in and let's see what's going on what's influencing your connection our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen all right Father God, what's influencing this connection or these connection, whoever this is going to be for, you know? What's the influence here? Bad influence or positive influence? What is it? What's the influence here, please? You have the moon in the reverse. So there are secrets. There are secrets that are influencing this connection. Someone is hiding something. Someone is not speaking their mind, not speaking their truth. Let me... Hold on. What about these secrets here? What about these secrets? These secrets are going to be revealed as well. So there's nothing. Oh, there's a secret here. The Knight of Swords. So it seems like this Knight of Swords here is either they're planning on some kind of action, planning on making something right, revealing that secret, but there is something that's changing drastically in this person's life. You have the tower. That's a massive change that's happening. Things are falling apart, but at the same time, they're falling into place. There's action that's going to be taken. There's a surprise as well. There's a surprise. You have the devil. Yeah, there's a lot of um, toxicity that's being released. There's changes that are happening. There, there's going to be something new here. So whatever the secret is that's influencing this connection, it's going to lead to something beautiful because this person is ready to take some sort of action. What else can you tell me? <laughs> the lovers wanted to come out with that. So you have a third party situation here that's influencing this connection. So this person is trying to make up their mind. This person is thinking about someone from their past. But this is it's like this person is also entrapped in a in another situation here, another connection, another relationship, whatever it is. This person, whoever they are, they may also have some some kind of insecurities, some kind of um partying kind of issue. There could also be addiction in regards to drugs as well that I'm getting. Give me something on this Three of Cups, please, in regards to what's influencing this connection, please. And the knights, the knights, the knights. This is a lot of action that's happening here. The knights. Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands. Whoever these masculines are and whatever is happening with this connection or these connections here, there are massive changes that are happening. Someone is coming out of their darkness. Someone here is realizing, ding, ding, thank you. Someone is realizing some kind of truth and they're ready to take action. The three of wands is on the bottom. So they're waiting on a particular time. They're waiting on something. It, there's something that has to do with this distance. Night again. The night of pentacles. Nine of cups. There's action that's going to be taken. Nine of pentacles. There's something stable that's going to happen. Give me something about what's happening here. Give me something about what these actions are going to lead to.
Yeah, their actions is going to lead to some tower moments and some kind of regrets here. That's why now they are ready to step forward. That's why they are um, they're, they're, they're going to improve on their life. They, see, they're holding on to something here that needs to be torn apart, that needs to, they need to release. It's, it's like after they get rid of these situations, after they start to see that these things are no longer serving them. So your person may be going into some sort of depression. Your person may be withdrawing or you withdrew or whatever, but somebody is going to be in depression here. Someone is going to be in depression. You have the justice. Yeah, so things are definitely going to be made right. Things are definitely going to be made right. There's a lot of passionate action that's going to be taken. And, and this is not sexual energy passion. This is, this is now focus on what's important in my life. What makes me better? What makes my life better? Things that I'm passionate about. Going back to the things that make me a better person. If they like art, they're going to go back to art. If they like driving, they're going to go back to driving. But this person's life is turning around. Give me something on this tower. Wow, wow, wow. Look at these major arcanas. Clarifying a major arcana. There's a massive change that's happening. A massive change that's going to happen. There's a divine masculine who is being changed? I don't even know how to say it. But there's a whole heap of change that's going on with these divine masculines. Whenever this situation falls apart, whatever this influence is, whether it's this um, third party situation, their addictions, something is going to be revealed here. And it's going to cause this massive change within your divine masculine. And, and there is your justice. There is your balance. There is things coming to light. There are things that are going to come to light for you. Five of swords. Five of cups. There is a change. This person was living in some kind of heartbreak. This person was allowing heartbreak to, to, to cloud their judgment, to cloud their mind. Maybe that's a secret. They were just hiding their true feelings. The world want to complete that cycle. They're seeing things from a different perspective. Give me something on this five of cups here, please. Judgment. Yeah. They want that second chance. I want that second chance. I, I, I got a return for that second chance. The seven of swords. This person realized they were deceiving themselves. Mm -hmm. Ten of swords. There's a lot of action. There's a lot of action here. Thank you very much. There's a lot of action that's going to be taken. And this has a lot to do with the way that they that they are thinking, their their own thoughts. There's a there's a change that's gonna happen in your thought that's gonna put them on the right path to becoming this emperor. So that they can receive justice and they can bring you justice. So they're coming in with gifts. They're coming in for that brand new beginning. This person was feeling beaten down and tired and it's like just stressed out because. Either the changes around them that they needed to make, they couldn't make. Or it's just that those changes start to happen once they acknowledge something. Once something came to light. The chariot in the reverse. The chariot in the reverse. The high priestess and the empress. Okay, so this person was, was, was stuck. There, there was... There was somebody else definitely in this person's life, but it, this person was a spiritual person. You have the nine of wands. This person, um, this person used mental manipulation to keep these divine masculines away from the divine feminine. It could just be their own intuition or their own mind as well that they really needed to get control over. Why is this chariot in the reverse? In regards to what's influencing this connection, please. We 
of the death. So there was an ending. So this stopped someone from moving forward. There was an ending. So, so there's definitely going to be a breakup or a separation here. So there is no more movement with whoever your Divine Masculine was around here. Your Divine Masculine discovered some sort of um, secret. Some sort of deception by this person or these people. But it, but, but it happened suddenly. Like they weren't expecting to figure out what the secret was or this person wasn't expecting. Uh, oh my, okay, I don't want to get another headache. I don't want to get another headache. You hear all those confirmations? Give me something more about what this ending is here or this rebirth with this death energy. Eight of Pentacles. So this person is definitely going to do better. Wheel of Fortune. Th this was a destined change. Now this person can persevere. Now this person can move to the top. Now this person can push through. Now they can have this brand new beginning. There's a change. Yes, now they can have this brand new beginning. Now they can move forward. Now they can drop their burdens. Oh my God. Now they can drop that burden and move forward and have that happy life that they've always dreamed of. This is beautiful. So whatever this influence is or was here, it is definitely coming to an end. The chariot has stopped moving. The chariot has stopped moving. There's no movement for this connection or whoever this person was dealing with. Secrets have been revealed. There was someone around these divine masculines here who was very untrue, unfaithful, manipulative but it's coming to an end and it, it's a destined change it's a destined change and things are gonna change very very fast very very fast very rapid here the divine masculine is not even gonna be able to comprehend what's happening in your life all this discovery one after the other I just get it like it's just quick just quick things are gonna change so quickly and they're coming in for that second chance because it's like their eyes are just going to pop right open. I don't know. <laughs> That's why they're going to be in this energy of regret. But they're going to stop that action towards those negative people and put their focus on where it belongs. This has been your message, everyone. To pay for a book or a reading, go to twindyflamed.square.site for your bracelets, your keychains, go to Twindy Holistic Boutique, that's square, that's site. And for your bath bombs and your lotions and all that good stuff for yourself, self-care, self-care, <laughs> go to Diane's Bath and Body, that's square, that's site. Check the description box below for all your links. And do not forget to follow me over there on TikTok and also Instagram. The links are in the box below as well. Love you guys. Like one God. Later.